Hey everyone, I'm Damian Holbrook from TV Guide Magazine and TV Insider, and I'm here with the team from Crossing Swords on Hulu, the new um, stop motion uh, animation show, not for kids, uh, hilarious as hell, definitely not for kids. Um, so you guys, I know that, so I've got John Harvardine, I've got Seth Green, and I've got Tom Root. Hey guys, congratulations, the show is hilarious. Um, who came up with the idea and who took the ball and just ran with it? Well, the idea uh, kind of came from uh, Harv in a way because um, he, uh, he's a toy uh, guy. He's a toy photographer and, uh, you know, he's an animator and he uh, made his own uh, Ghostbusters toys out of uh, pegs and they were sitting on his desk for years. And um, we were always looking at them and they're very cute because there's not much to them because they're made of pegs. They're just uh, the very simple paint job. The, they were sitting in this Ectomobile, which was like <laughs> a slab of wood. And uh, we just thought like, could we make a whole show out of something that looked this simple? They look like weathered Fisher Price toys. Right. Like those like <laughs> little people thing. Um, and you guys had this experience coming from like with, with uh, Robot Chicken and all the work that you've done with that. But nowadays, like, are you making it harder for yourselves by actually doing the stop motion rather than doing it as computer generated? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> what is the appeal for you? Because it seems arduous. Yeah, I don't know. It's just, um, there's something really fun about taking an object and moving it around, making it animate, bringing it to life. I think it's just uh, ourselves in, in the studio here, the artists we work with, we love what we do so much. It's like, we just want to bring this to the screen any way that we can. So it's, it's really just out of love. And Seth, I mean, you guys have been doing this stuff for so long and, and you do so, like, the voices that you get to do for these shows, is there a certain style that goes with the stop motion, with fiction? I don't... I don't think any particular uh, uh, shooting style or aesthetic um, demands a particular thing. We, we, we work in all mediums and we make all kinds of stuff. And the thing I think we do well is find the correct aesthetic and style for the piece we're trying to make. So for whatever story we're trying to tell or whatever world we're trying to demonstrate, we try to find the look and style that's going to tell that story the best. And the thing that appealed to me the most about this was that the vision was so complete. All these elements together give the audience the experience that you want. Um, they relate to the characters. It's very, very funny. It's beautiful. Like it's actually yeah. gorgeously yeah. photographed. And then it, it's very, very silly. Um, and so <laughs> <laughs> it's just like ridiculously silly. And who came up with like, who, who was the person who thought like, oh, medieval times, we can do this. Ruth, that Art, must have been you right there. Is that you? Yeah, well, you know, uh, when we first started thinking about this show, um, it was actually, I mean, it was many years ago and, and Game of Thrones was very popular and we really <laughs> liked, or I mean, I guess you could say it's still popular, but people get really <laughs> mad at it at the end. Um, it still remains deeply iconic. I don't think yeah. anyone's going to forget <laughs> lose that it. Game of what Thrones is awesome anytime soon. <laughs> you guys remember that show, Game of Thrones? I don't know. I barely uh, saw it. But uh, we really liked the map um, that would open the show. And it was like, the, the you know, one of the coolest parts of the show is the opening title sequence. And um, I just started drawing a map on our dry erase board. <laughs> of what our world could be if we were doing a peg people show. Um, and it just felt very natural to start with a castle in the center of the map and then just start building uh, what we thought of as toy play sets all around the map where the peg people could go and uniting it as a, sort of like a medieval sword and sorcery fantasy show felt really natural because it meant everything else could fit. You could have pirates, you could have a Robin Hood, you could have a birthday clown, and it was all kind of <laughs> under and, this umbrella of fantasy. And your cast is great. Like your voice cast is, I mean, you've got Adam Pally, you've got Yvette Nicole Brown, who's amazing. And I don't think I've ever heard her curse before. So this is like a whole new world for me. Yeah. Then you have Nicholas Holt. Like, how did you get him? 
<laughs> and why is he not doing a British accent? <laughs> <laughs> It's an, that's a that's a, it's an interesting series of questions. Um, yeah, he's incredible. He, uh, I actually just binged that show he did about Catherine the Great with Al Fanning, the Great, yeah. where, I don't know, he is ex he's incredible on that. Yeah. Um, how did we get him, guys? Did, did you well, just ask? He, is that what happened? He was actually looking for something fun to do, and uh, his people were actively, I mean, his, his people were doing their jobs and like trying to find him something um you know he's he's always working and i think they were looking for something that was just fun right. and he was really interested in this when it was put in front of him and we thought well since he's this fantastic actor uh this <laughs> this amazing British actor, why don't we not let him use his British accent and force him into an American accent uh, and let's do it <laughs> at the last minute so he has no time to prepare. And oh, nice. Like. <laughs> you have one of the, you have the figures there. They're, they're, you're not oh, with like large yeah. stuff. Like these are, yeah. I got Root right there. I love that. <laughs> perfect, perfect likeness. Mm -hmm. And then I got Seth. Oh, is that me? Oh. <laughs> He's got a robot oh, chicken hoodie. I like the chicken, yes. Okay, well, I want to congratulate you guys because this is super, I like, I binge this show straight through. I was like, this I love, because I love robot chicken. I love like the whole oh, idea of like playing with these toys and like making them vile. And some of the stuff you guys get away with because they're peg people yeah. is amazing. Yeah. Um, I love the fact that you end with it uh, to be continued. <laughs> I love that you leave it with- Yeah, you know, balls. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's going to be, I'm super excited for season two, and hopefully I'll get to talk to you at the real Comic-Con next year about it, okay? That would be awesome. Thank you guys so much. <laughs> Don't right forget, on. Crossing Swords on Hulu.